Finding inspiration can be tough. Sometimes it just seems like the world is a certain way and it's hard to see it any other way. <laughs> and you know, you look around you and you try to find these ideas and sometimes you got it. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you work on something for hours. Sometimes you work on other things for hours. <laughs> and sometimes it's like, I'm simply just not there at all. But every once in a while, you'll find an idea really worth chasing. Something that you can just see a little bit differently than everyone else. And that is art. At least to me. What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Today's gonna be a fun one, an interesting one even. Today I'm gonna be going over a technique in Final Cut Pro that you can use to make uh, your videos a little bit more interesting. This is a very specific technique that has very specific applications, at least in my opinion, but it is really easy to do. It's also kind of fun and I think if you're somebody like me who maybe struggles with uh, the talent that it takes to make a great cardistry video, uh, the best thing that you can do is have good video editing. And uh, this is something that I think will just help, you know, some of your projects stand out, I guess. As you guys can tell from the very artsy intro, <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make everything in a frame black and white except for one color, uh, which will help whatever color or product or whatever uh, stand out a little bit more. And that's what we wanna do stand out. As well, we got a sponsor for today's video. Today's episode is going to be brought to you by Mealing's membership. So if you guys are interested in learning more about one of the great online magic courses in magic today, stick around to the end of the video for more information. All that and more coming up, but before we get into it, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, now the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna go over basically just how to do it first. I'm gonna show you you know, my workflow in terms of getting a sample into Final Cut Pro, how I do it. But I'm also gonna go over a few tips uh, because this specific method is a little bit finicky depending on what you're doing. And for things like magic or cardistry with a lot of movement it can be very difficult. So I'll be going over kind of some of the tips and tricks and things that I have found to be more helpful when doing this effect. Now to get into it, I have some sample footage here. Uh, it's probably gonna look pretty similar to whatever I used for the trailer. And as well, there's a few things that you kind of want to be aware of going into this. Number one, if you're using a product, like in this case, it's a deck of cards. If there's two colors on it, this effect will not work as well. Uh, specifically because you can only bring out the one color, sort of, and we'll talk about that. So you wanna do this, and it definitely works best with a single color, whether it's red or a very strong blue. I think it also works best with more vibrant colors. One thing to keep in mind is that anything in the immediate background, whether it's in or out of focus, if it's that same color, that will come through as well. Some folks want that, some people don't. But anyway, let's just get into it. So we have our test footage here. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna be kind of walking you through everything that I would do to make this effect okay it looks like it is recording now so let's go ahead and first thing you're gonna do is pull up Final Cut Pro imagine that so we have Final Cut Pro here uh, now the other thing is I have a raw clip that I shot I have not uh, edited it down or anything so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about how I would do that as well just in terms of like making a, a single um, pan shot or something within the b-roll look good so you guys will get to see a little bit of that as well um, the first thing we're gonna do is just bring in into a new project our um, our clip our raw clip okay 
whatever you upload the clip into, whatever your first clip is in this Final Cut Pro project, that's gonna be the settings for the entire video. So if you guys wanna change that, get into it. Uh, I'm happy with, with ours the way that it is. So you guys will see that what we have here is just a bunch of like raw, you know, camera movement. Um, I shot it in 120 frames per second. Uh, one, because I like slow motion, go figure, but also because um, I did this handheld. So if you shoot at 120 frames per second handheld, you have a lot more frames to kind of stable out your footage. It helps with camera shakes. So there's another pro tip for you. Uh, but the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna turn down the volume on this, the music, whatever that is. Um, I think I had a song, yeah, I had a song playing. <clears throat> Uh, and then what we're gonna do now is just cut out the chunk of the clip that we want uh, to make black and white with uh, just the red. We're gonna make just the red from the Starters Edition Slow Hands deck pop out. Um, and I guess you don't really need to trim it down yet. You could do the effect first, but just so that we have a nice satisfying long clip, I'm gonna go ahead and edit it down to just like a nice five second clip that we wanna edit. So I'm gonna just look for like my favorite shot, I think maybe something a little bit closer, but also so you can see a lot of the background. So that way the effect makes sense, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Let's see how this shot looks. Not very, not very stable, which is okay, because we shot it at 120p, which means I can stabilize it. Uh, and it'll look it'll look a lot better. So let's go ahead and just cut it there. And now we have uh, this 10 second, 11 second clip. Um, and the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a stabilize on here just so then that way it's, it's not all shaky. It's gonna look a little bit better, so. Okay, so we got the stabe on there. We've got the clip, good to go. It looks great already as it is. Now I'm gonna get into tip number one. Before I show you guys how to do the effect, I think the most important thing is to uh, do a little bit, some color grading first. And the reason you wanna do that is because to do this effect, you're basically gonna be using the uh, color matching tool. And if it picks up a specific hue of red, like if there's a shadow on the deck or if some spots are brighter than others, then it's gonna exclude anything that doesn't look exactly like that. So uh, sometimes you can do some good color grading first to make the red look a little bit more uniform, get rid of some of those hot spots, and that will help you uh, ultimately when you go to do the effect. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of color adjusting here. I'm not even gonna do a full color grade. Uh, we'll keep it really simple, but I find that for doing this effect, it helps if you have some contrast in there. It'll kind of sharpen up the colors and, and kind of, uh, I don't know, chunk them against each other. If things are contrasting more, then the tool won't get so confused about what it's picking up. Uh, and then as well for the red, um, or just in, in general for saturation, I'll turn it up a little bit too, because if something's super bright red, it's a little bit easier to hide you know, brighter spots or, or, or brings up the darker spots. Uh, and this looks good. You might also need to mess with, you know, depending on your shot, the shadows or the highlights. Um, but we, we did pretty good with the lighting here. There's no like, you know, blaring white on the deck. So I think it'll be okay. So we've done a little bit of color grading. Now let's learn how to do the actual effect, okay? Now the important thing to remember here is that this only works for one color. So if you're doing this and you wanna make uh, red and blue stand out, it's a whole nother thing, we won't get into that, but for this, uh, just one color. So pick the color you want. In our case, we're gonna do red. Now you wanna go over to your effects. One of the built-in effects, so this doesn't require any downloads or anything like that. One of the built-in effects is a color board. You're just gonna take the color board and drag it onto your clip, okay? That simple. And at first you're not even gonna notice that it does anything, cause it doesn't. But it's gonna help us uh, in, in the next step. So we got the color board on there. Now we're gonna go over to this reel icon here. And what that reel is, is your effects that you have on the selected clip. So if we click on it, you can see that there is my color board two. That's the color board that I just dragged on to here. Okay, and the only reason that color board one is there is because I did some color adjustments beforehand. So just ignore that. So make sure it's checked. Make sure you can see that. Hover over it and then you can see here this, uh, this little circle inside of a square and that's gonna be a mask tool. Now the mask is basically just going to be uh, what renders everything outside of the red, black, and white. Okay. So we're going to do add a color mask. We're going to take our color mask and 
it's automatically set to its own softness and it's automatically set to the 3D type, whatever. You can experiment with what works for you. I'll just leave the settings as is for now. For demonstration purposes, I'm not even sure if we need to change anything. And I'm just gonna click on the red, the red of the slow hands deck. Now you can see when you hold it, that's basically what you're gonna get. Uh, now it's gonna look a lot better, of course, but uh, but that's kind of this the standard, you know. Now you can see that it definitely needs work. We're not done yet. So now what we need to do, now that we've selected it, everything has gone back to color. You're gonna scroll back up to your color board too, and you're gonna click on this color triangle, okay? And that's gonna bring you to some color adjustments to your color board. Uh, and then down here, you'll see on the mask, it says inside, outside. You're gonna select outside, and that means that you're now editing everything that is outside of your selected area. Now that you're there, you're gonna go to saturation and drag the uh, master saturation dial all the way down. So now you can see everything behind that red has been turned to black and white. But you can see on the box itself, it is missing certain pieces of red, like in the corners here where the color wasn't exact. That's why I say you have to be precise. Um, but one way to adjust that, the easiest way probably, is to come down here into your color mask and change the softness, turn it up a little bit and that will help fill in some of the gaps and that actually looks pretty good um, the two white lines look gray but that's just because they weren't a true white um, you know with the light coming in they were probably a little bit blue there's a lot you could do to fix that but I'm actually pretty happy with it um, so now that you have that you don't need to save it it's all already done uh, in terms of the effect, but you want to drag your playhead all the way to the beginning and watch it back to see, you know, if you've missed some of the reds or if there's something more that you need to tweak. But looking at it, it actually looks pretty good for this shot. It looks very similar to, uh, to how I envisioned it in my head. I like that you can see that there's this other slow hands deck back here. Um, you know, so for those that know the cards, they know that that deck is blue and, uh, it, it just cast out everything but the red. So, um, like I said, this is something you want to use sparingly, but for the right video or just for the right detail or whatever, for the right splash, uh, this is something that can really come in handy. And I think it looks cool. Uh, this was something that actually was used for one of the original teasers for Avengers Endgame. Um, and so I might have to put that in the title of this video <laughs> just to get people to watch it. But it's a good effect and I really like it. And now you know how to do it. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a very specific technique and like I said, it's a little bit niche. So my advice to you guys is don't overdo this. This is not something you wanna do for every single video. Uh, you know, this, just like many different effects and transitions, they're best if they're used appropriately and sparingly. That's the best advice I can give you. Focus on making your video interesting without having to rely on it, but every once in a while, it's a good punchy effect to kind of throw in there. Again, these are all just my opinions. I am by no means a professional filmmaker or anything like that. These are just things that I have learned and picked up through making videos here for you guys. However, if you did like this tutorial and if you are interested in seeing more, the best way you can let me know that you like videos like this is by dropping a like and of course, giving me a comment. Let's interact. If you guys like this type of stuff, let me know and I know to make more. And now, a word from our sponsor. Okay guys, I admit it, I'm a millennial. As such, that means Harry Potter is pretty much everything. And look, I'm just gonna say what everyone else is thinking, I wish Hogwarts existed in real life. Well, I'm sorry to report that it still doesn't, but you can get close. Today's video is brought to you by Mealing's membership. If you're looking to get from beginner to expert or anywhere in between in your card magic and performance skills, this is the place you wanna go. There's over 60 original effects already on the website. I'm currently working on one or learning one off of the website called stopwatch it's one that i definitely plan on performing as soon as i get it mastered it's a good time and all of these lessons are taught by professional magician ollie mealing the best part is that you guys can take advantage of 20 percent off of your membership by clicking the link in my description it is an affiliate link or you can go to the mealings membership website and you can use promo code here 20 at checkout and like i said that's going to get you 20 percent off of your membership thank you to mealings membership for sponsoring today's episode i really appreciate it okay love you bye
All right, guys, thank you again so much. If you made it this far in the video, you are the realist and I appreciate you the most. Don't tell the others though. All right, guys, thanks again for clicking on the video. I will see you guys in the next one. And of course, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. So fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars.